I can tell you right now, there is not a single Alabama fan. I, I don't care how retarded and dim-witted uh, your typical Alabama fan is. There is not a single gump tart on planet Earth right now who really thinks this Alabama team is beating Georgia next week. If I was Nick Saban in Alabama, I would strongly consider just opting out. Really at halftime right now of the Iron Bowl, the Auburn game. But if they want to finish this game since it's a rivalry game, I, I don't under, I, don't, I really don't understand why Alabama would even want to show up next week in Atlanta. They are absolutely horrible. You can't score on the barn. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You can't score on the on the on the barn. What do you? you Alabama has fifty yards of offense. Fifty. Alabama's got fifty yards of offense total. Zero n negative rushing yards. Negative. What, what do you think the Georgia defense is going to do to you? Uh, this this is whole, Georgia is going to beat the absolute will to live out of Alabama. It's going to be nothing but 60 minutes of snot bubbles next week for Bryce Young. That's it. I hope we get a lot of close-ups to Bryce Young next week with the snot bubbles just <laughs> because that's all it's going to be. Uh, th th this is abysmal. This is absolutely abysmal. You know, I, I made a comment a week or so ago about how bad Bryce Young is under pressure, and some idiot Alabama fans want to show up with some pointless stat uh, or something like that. Watch a game. Watch a friggin' game. If you get any pressure on Bryce Young at all, the guy's no good. I mean, he folds like a like like a dollar store lawn chair. Bryce Young, Michigan pay, uh, State, Penn State locked in a pretty good game. Tennessee all over uh, Vandy, but I, I think everybody expected that. Uh, what happened at the end of the Florida State Florida game? Florida State scores with whatever it was, thirty seconds or something to go. They go to, if y'all haven't seen this, you got to find a clip of it. But Florida State scored with like 30 seconds to go or something like that. So then they had to attempt an onside kick, right? Because they were still behind. They line up for the onside kick. The Florida State kicker runs up to the ball and whiffs. I kicked the ball but missed it. But his foot went so close to the ball, it created enough wind to knock the ball over. So it counted as a it counted as a kick. The the ball literally went like one inch. It just it just fell off the tee. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Until I started watching the Iron Bowl, Alabama is absolutely horrendous, horrendous. Georgia is gonna beat them to death next week. Um, it, it's gonna be an absolute bloodbath. There's not an Alabama fan who really thinks they're winning that game. So uh, I guess Alabama will be headed to a New Year's Six Bowl. Hey, how about how about Alabama versus Ohio State in a New Year's Six Bowl? Man, won't that be fun? That might be interesting. Uh, that might be interesting. Alabama versus Ohio State uh, in a pointless New Year's Six Bowl while Georgia's on its way to the playoffs after devastating Alabama next week in the SEC title game. But Alabama's offense is horrible. Again, they've just given up even trying to run the ball. I mean, their run game is I, – I, I don't – you've got to go back pre-Nick Saban to find an Alabama run game this bad. I don't know if it's the offensive line, Brian Robinson, both, or a combination of the both or whatever, but their run game – it's not even that their run game is bad. It doesn't exist. It's something worse than bad. It's absolutely horrible. Here's Bryce Young under pressure. What does he do? Well, he gets sacked. He folds up like a lawn chair. Let me see. Are they going to show us some more? Uh, here we go again. What is this? And you get them under pressure. Oh, overthrown. Sorry, uh, the guy's absolute doo doo. Uh, he's mush doo doo. He's a cow patty. He's a cow patty that's done turned into a mushroom. That's how much of a pile of shit Bryce Young looks like in this game against Auburn. He's absolutely horrible. Jamias Williams or Jamison Williams, whatever the hell his name is, the eighth best receiver on Ohio State's team, couldn't get on the field, so he transfers to Alabama. He's their only weapon on offense. They got him out here playing punt team, uh, this this Jameis Williams, uh, whatever. I don't know his name, or I don't care what his name is either, but you know who I'm talking about for Alabama, the only decent offensive player they have. They got him playing on the punt team, this Jameis and Williams. Alabama punched the ball off to the barn. Jamias Williams, Jamison Williams, Jamison Williams, I, I don't care. He's running down the field. He, he goes to make the tackle, targeting, launched, crown of his helmet, Contact with the other player's helmet. Literally every aspect of targeting, he checked it off the list. 
So he got kicked out of the game. I don't know how Alabama's going to score. Alabama can't score on good teams without Williams. He's the only decent player they have. I don't under Alabama has recruited out of this world for 12 years in a row, and the only decent weapon they have on offense is a transfer from Ohio State that wasn't good enough to get on the field. Same Ohio State team that went out and couldn't beat Michigan today. My God. My God. The mighty have fallen. The mighty have fallen. Clemson looks like the one shoe you see on the side of the road. I, I'll never understand that. You're riding down the road, you see one shoe there. Where's the other where's the other shoe? Why only one was there some one-legged man driving down the road? Got tired of his shoe, so he threw it out the window. That's Clemson. What is Alabama? Well, oh, you ever been to a you ever been to a liquor store in the hood? Or a gas station in the hood, but bad, well, liquor store in the hood. And there's always this one homeless guy out front smoking half a cigarette. That's Alabama.